Welcome back. Before we carry on here with our Trailblazer mission, a Sunset Rendezvous, we've actually got this come up again. Sensitive beings. It's a new day, everyone. The terminal units are so old that they can only provide enough computing power for one check a day. You're annoyed, but the engineer promises that nothing else will go wrong today. You, did, you decide to trust him one more time. Apparently. We've got enough computing power today. I reported it to the lead researcher. She said she expects you to get this done today. Please let me know when you are done. I'll need to reinforce the terminal security system. Sure, please turn on the terminal for me. The optical identity verification program is all set. The terminal has sufficient computing power. Please, help yourself. Right, let's do puzzle again then. Right, so we need to use the portals there. Hmm. The, oh, I had an idea, but then the one in the corner is an issue. Hmm. It really depends where we come out, what we do. So I could see us doing this. No, 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 no. Let's get a reset on that. I had a different kind of logic in my head with that. Hmm, because it's like each side has got something going on that's strange. I feel like we need to end up at that one last so we can proceed upwards up there. So, yeah, it's that simple. There we go. Sorted. Well done. A little goes a long way. Indeed. My trailblaze level. Just waiting there. I understand every single word, but I don't understand when they are put together. I feel dizzy reading them. I want to throw up. What on earth justifies my continued existence in this world? If a person is without any career, would they be any different from a piece of space garbage? What? Hold on. What was I thinking? That was close. I almost got infected by the memetic virus. Ah. From Joanne's record, it is clear that the memetic virus interferes with one's mind and manipulates people into a pointless rat race. This virus is truly vicious. Ah uh ha -huh. I should head back, but before I go, I'd better tell the engineer. After all, I did promise him. Are you done? Yes, I think I got the result. Okay. According to the Space Station Data Center's regulations, your query access will be terminated as soon as you leave the terminal room. Thank you for your cooperation. Oh, a, a problem, mate. A problem. Right, so... Let's go report to Asta about that. If we're not on patrol, we should get some rest. How much rest do you need, mate? It's you. Thanks for the help on the station. Did you encounter some problems? I've gone through all the data records. Great. I heard from the maintenance engineer that... Due to incomplete recovery from the previous invasion, the terminal's computing power had been hindering your progress. So I didn't expect you to finish the investigation so soon. Thank you for your hard work. So, what's the conclusion? I'll hear your observation and your analysis. <laughs> I see. I did have a suspicion that Joanne was the one who got infected. But I didn't have any substantial evidence. Look at Peppy over there. How did you know it was her? Simple. Out of the three of them, she is the only one who exhibited speech patterns similar to those of the Krakup Konk after its infection. I've always found it rather suspicious that she, a person who dozes off all the time, would have such a drastic change of personality and would quit all her habits and hobbies out of nowhere. Anyway, the overall result is as expected. 
Next, we should weed out Joanne's virus and get her back on track to her old self. Thank you for your hard work on finding such substantial evidence. So, uh... Oh, I, 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 I mean, I do get it, so... I, I still don't get it, we'll go with that. Huh? Is there anything else I need to clarify? I, I don't have any more questions. Well, I do get your point to some extent. It might seem productive, at least in the short term, to just disregard people's safety concerns and force them into non-stop work. But in the real world, such practices will only spell disaster. The station is built in space, far away from any land surface. Not everyone can adapt to life here. This will become clear after a while. Despite our top-notch equipment and resources, some people still find it unbearable to live on a space station after staying here for a long time. In that case, letting people develop their own hobbies improves everyone's mental health, especially when they have been away from land for an extended period of time. This is the best way to improve overall productivity. After all, we are born to be humans, not plants or rocks that do not have emotions. How could we still call ourselves humans if we were to throw away our hobbies and emotions? But I don't seem to have any hobbies. Well, I do know a little about your situation. It's alright. You still have a long way to go. You'll eventually find your hobbies and your own way of life. Well, you still have a long way ahead of you. When you are out there exploring, remember, no matter what, don't just throw away your hobbies and your emotions. Oh, right. By the way, I almost forgot one thing. I know paper records will be printed out at the terminal. Keep those records to yourself. Don't let the information leak out in the space station. Promise me, or I'll take back the reward. Don't worry. They will never leak out. Well, anyway, thank you so much. This is the reward for you. I made this myself. You made it? <clears throat> if you don't like it, I can take you to buy the Star Nought Fleet when the latest version comes out. It's very popular among young people these days. The what? The what? Sensitive beings three complete cool. I don't know why I'm running down here. <laughs> I have ten life insurance policies on the go. What? That's not a good idea. Right. Anyway, what's he planning? Let's go back to if the hotel. We're not on patrol, we should get some rest. That's what, we're going to get some rest at the hotel now, mate. That's what we're doing. Um, but I did see we have something going on here. Ah. Is this because we did that? Find all of the unearthly Marvel treasures. I'm not sure on that one. Anyway, bedtime. The bed isn't very soft, but this room feels more homey than the coldly decorated Overworld Hotel. So tired. Hope I can get a good night's sleep. I lost her. My wish. Your so-called plan. What is the point of it all? Silence! She is my daughter. My only... You soulless thing. How could you begin to fathom? You will never understand. Never! Voice again. Such a strange dream. Indeed. There's hat boxes there. Anyway. May as well go for a walk if I can't sleep. So much for Jepard's thought of having rest. Who goes there? Show yourself. Yori. Oh, it's you. 
don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. <laughs> no sleep for you either, huh? Hmm, I've been, I've been having nightmares recently. Mm, I understand. The more that weighs on your mind, the more your fears become dreamscapes. I don't think that's it. Actually, seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? This Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it, how sure are you that you could stop the Eternal Freeze? I mean, we'll go with 100%. Your confidence actually makes me even more worried. This isn't like helping a child make a snowball. No, we're trying to not make a snowball. We're trying to defreeze? You know, it was difficult for me to believe you. Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabog. As far as I was concerned, Madame Kakolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. But why didn't she issue it straight away? She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself, and it bothers me. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, <sighs> still... Orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. Hmm. I, I don't want to insult her while she's sort of having this reflection, you know, so you had no choice. I don't need you to absolve me. The truth is, I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. But the sense of duty... To carry out an order is bound to prevail with me. In the past, overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. And yet, the Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomero remained open. But the passage between the surface and the underground ceased. I approved of that decision. I never thought that the Underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silverman guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong. But how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. We'll help you. Help me change the mind of the Madam Guardian? <laughs> Not easy. Nobody knows that better than I do. Uh, the more I think about it, the more disoriented I get, which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. Let's work together. Maybe we can make that change. Maybe you're right. Or not. Right now, I... I just need more time to think. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. Where are we going? Shouldn't we be standing watch? I can't remember the last time I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place. With someone I'd only just gotten to know. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. Ah, the quieter things are around you, the louder... I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Still, whatever their situation, a crime is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance between justice and compassion in the face of such complexity? How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? Let's go take a look. I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. I was using that little walk then to test if height does make a difference in walking and running speed. And it definitely did. It's too dangerous to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. 
The rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line. Is there trouble? Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Up to no good, perhaps? We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. <laughs> walk somewhere else, then. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. Hmm. No problem. We'll help with anything. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, look at you swaggering in like the protagonist in your own story. I mean, I kind of, I kind of am. It's called Honkai Star Rail. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more. Somehow. <sighs> the situation in other towns is even worse than ours. As the Fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around, causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anchor isn't good for one's health. Zila and I actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the Fragmentum began to seep into the town center. There's another town? Unlike up on top, there's just Bellabog. That's... It kind of makes sense when you think about it. Underground would be safer. Closer to the planet's core, so... Warm. But I don't think they're that far down. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there. But after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. I will help too. You want to come as well? But you look quite tired. It's fine, I'm running on... Anyway... Hold up, I never said you could join us. People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides... I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. Well, just don't slow me down. Zila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. <laughs> with you all accompanying her, my mind will be more at ease. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through the mountains to the north for a bit and you'll arrive there. <sighs> Let me think. Uh, I'm almost out of metal plates and bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. Oh, also rubbing alcohol. I kept a bunch at the orphanage, since the kids often got into tussles. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me when I left. Oh, I hope it's still intact. Lastly, painkillers. There should be a bunch stored in the old lab. Hopefully they haven't been destroyed by monsters. These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Be careful, don't push yourselves too hard. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, and painkillers. Got it, piece of cake. Let's go. If we leave now, we can still make it back before sundown. When it comes to helping injured people groaning in pain, the sooner the better. Indeed. If we hadn't happened to be passing by, were you really planning on going into the Fragmentum alone? 
Of course. What's all the fuss about? I've done that loads of times. So reckless. According to the rules of the Silvermane Guards, any expedition into the Fragmentum must have a squad of at least four members, as well as a communications officer. Exactly. A rule of the Silvermane Guards. Don't apply your rules to us. What's going on over there? Fedora. Hmm, the only thing missing is a language module, right? Where do we get that? A language module? Yeah, it's all that's missing. It's hard to get a hold of one. Ugh, what a headache. Hmm. When did you get here? Did you hear what I just said? Uh, why are you acting like it's a big deal? So you did hear it. Ah, uh, whatever. Guess it's okay if you know. It isn't really a huge secret anyway. You seem new here. What can I do for you? I'm wondering. What do you need a language module for? It's... Why are you being so nosy? Okay, I'll tell you. I'm trying to build a robot that can interact with humans emotionally. Not the kind of machine that only follows a program or answers the questions you ask. A robot that understands human language and speaks and acts like a normal human being. Hmm. Are you making an android? Android? What's that? It sounds weird. Right now, all I want to do is equip the robot with a language module and do some additional optimization and improvement. In my opinion, mechanical structures are much more beautiful than the human body. I'm not stupid enough to try to make a robot look like a human. How boring would that be? Hmm. Are you a mechanic? Of course. No one but a mechanic could make robots, could they? Well, actually, many people among the vagrants also possess that skill. But I'm different from them. They make robots for the modified robot fight. The robots they make fight each other. I don't get the fun in it. Uh, nothing. Ooh. At least we he got really something. Said that to me. I can't believe he said that. Rivet Town. We're here. This is Rivet Town. Everything looks familiar. Let's go and watch your step. I haven't been here in a long time. There are probably some monsters around. We can't see anything here. Let's find higher ground to get a better view. That mansion up there. Ooh. Yeah, that one. Why the lights? Way over there. See that house on the hill? That's Natasha's old orphanage. Oh, that explains it. After Oleg found me, he sent me there. I spent over half my childhood in that place. It looks quite impressive. And sounds familiar. Natasha said that the house was donated by some rich businessman. Whatever his business may have been, he must have been a good person. I miss those carefree days as a kid. Huh. What? Nothing to say? No, it's just... This place seems familiar somehow. Uh, never mind. I mean, I'm feeling exactly the same way. But for... Different reasons? But I, I, I question that. Are they for different reasons? Yeah. Weirdo. Look down there. See the mess that remains of those old stalls? That's Rivet Town's market. The supplies Natasha wants are probably there. Let's keep moving. Watch out for monsters. It's just, mm. You can take what Bronya said two different ways. Careful. Enemies ahead. These aren't like vagrants. They won't... Don't treat me like a new recruit. 
I'm all too familiar with the monsters of the Fragmentum. Let's get ready to fight. Yeah, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on what she said. Just trying to avoid enemies where I can, because... Uh, restaurant? <laughs> the most famous restaurant in town. Natasha would bring the kids who behaved well here for a special meal. Ah. So, did she ever bring you? <sighs> Do I seem like I was a goody two-shoes? Of course not. I was, I was going to say, I'm going to avoid the enemies and do any new ones we come across, which is this one around the corner. I'm looking at stuff. Let's go with you. Ha. Just that all. I mean, you have to remember, that's not the way we get XP in this game. I can always come back and farm <laughs> items if need be. Let's go. Go with that. That'll take nap time. Nap time. Reach the end of the story in your own way. The facilities here seem to be in pretty good shape. Not like those of a place that has been abandoned for years. Now that you mention it, it does seem a little... Could people still be living here? Impossible. If I do accidentally run into any enemies we've done before, though, like the enemy type, I'll turn on the auto. Again, trying to figure out a decent pattern in terms of what we do in the actual Let's Play. Is that door... openable? Is openable a word? Able to be opened? There's a bunch of crates piled over there. Maybe we can find what we're looking for. Watch out for monsters. They like to hide. If you need to, clear the area before you dig for the supplies. It's more like they like to chase. I'll leave you be. Like, no, no, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay. Yeah, I can't shoot yet because you're red. Okay. Simple enough. Anything else down here? Hello. Time to get vigilant. Who will it be? Let's make it quick. Let's throw that out now. Rules are made to be broken. Let's go. Good big hit. We really need Japard's shield coming our way. Look, look how many people it's targeting. Jeez. <laughs> so let's get that going now. In the name of Landau. A will. May as well get a heal. Never faltered. Everything is ordained by the so stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. You have my gratitude. No manners, huh? It's not going to matter if we do single target or not. Huh? Time for a shot. Nap time. Yeah. Just a scratch. Lovely. Got you frozen. <laughs> Who invited you? Ooh, That'll lovely. take more than nap time. Let's make it quick. Yeah. <laughs> Throw in the it name out of Landau, a will forged in ice, never falters. Everything is ordained by the star oh, stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Naughty child. <laughs> this ends here. Huh? 
Nap time. Thank Let's you, go. shield. Yeah. Shot. Almost got you. There we go. There we go. What we got? What we got? Hmm. I expected more. I really did. Okay, so. Need the stuff over there, but those enemies are in the way. Just. I want to go exploring first. Puzzle guy. Ooh. Can I explore quite a large area then before we have to do anything? There's another chest. Let's get the puzzle guy because he may open up areas. There we go. Please follow instructions. So where are you taking me? Now we'll get him, you see. And you are new according to me, so... Who will it be? This is our chance. Nah. Yeah. Don't want to waste it if we don't have to. Nap time. Let's go, mate. <laughs> Ooh, dear. Are you coming? Let's go. Oh, it was here. Fair enough. Bosh. I think we've done your type before. <laughs> Definitely done the Rules guys on the side. Are made to be broken. Oh stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. I do feel like I've got a good team set up. It seems to be working quite well at this point. Don't think I'll change it until I'm either required to or I get another. Never falter. Five star character, like oh, Seedy. Which I feel like I will get, or at least get something, you know. Depends on the 50 50. I just feel I'll get enough pulls on that banner. Rules are made to be broken. So I think I'm at 60 pulls at this point, so another 30 before it's gone. I think oh, I can get it. I think I can get it. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. So it just depends who I get, what I do. Yeah. Nap time. A will forged in ice never falters. <laughs> well done, guys. More loot. Another puzzle. No, just a door. So where am I? Went around there. Let's have a look at the map. I think I know where I am. So it's like I went up there, came around there, down there, down there, down there. So what's down there? I think I went down there, didn't I? Yes. Yes, thinking that's here. Yeah, let's get this little area done then. Is that all? Should be easy oh, enough for see. my guys to take these out. Yeah. Oh stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. Dong. <laughs> Nap time. all be empty. Now even the monsters are gathering supplies? There's obviously one place we need to go then. 
The monsters of the Fragmentum don't need any materials we humans use. And if they did take anything, this place would look much messier. You mean that someone else got here and took everything before us? It's just a guess, but there are also some footprints on the ground here. Hmm. The scent of dirt is still fresh. They can't have come too long before us. Let's go then. We need to find something, even if we have to search every corner of this market. Oh. I expected us to head off towards the orphanage. Eric? Hey, brat! How could you come here by yourself? Oh, don't you know how dangerous this place is? Zila! Uh, you aren't the boss of me. I can go wherever I want. It's none of your beeswax. You took the materials and hid them all here. Not bad, kid. But if we didn't take care of those monsters, what were you planning to do? Just stay here, shaking in your boots? Who asked you to do anything? I was just about to escape. I didn't need your help at all. Still stubborn, huh? Then tell me, how exactly were you going to get those big metal plates out of here past those monsters? Um... There's always a way. Hmm. I mean, that is enough. He is just a kid. Don't let him fool you. Everyone in the underworld knows that this brat is a no-good thief. If I remember correctly, even the clothes you're wearing came off another kid's back. Oh dear. Uh, about that. Tell us, what do you even want metal plates and gauze bandages for? We need them to save people. Two hundred. Two hundred? What? Two hundred what? What? Uh... 200 shield? Are you kidding me? You want to negotiate? Me neither. I never bring my coin purse with me on a mission. I, I was trying to get to the next bit of dialogue. Ow. You're actually planning to give this little crook money? I, I'm telling you, this is his same old trick. No! Not this time. I really need money. <laughs> My daddy. Pretending to use your dad again as an excuse. If he knew about this, you'd be in big trouble. No! <laughs> Zila, that's enough. It's Eric, right? Here, you can have this. W what? What's this? This is a medal given to me by the architects. See that blue stone in the middle? That's a geomero crystal of the highest purity. You need money for your family, right? Take this and show it to a knowledgeable buyer, and they'll instantly know how valuable it is. <laughs> Thank you. I... But you'll have to promise me one thing. You'll never steal other people's things again. Promise? I... I promise. I'll never steal things again. Is it gonna be that simple, though? Then it's a deal. If you go back on your promise, I'm going to bring my Silvermane guards with me and catch you myself. Here, take the medal and go back to the town. We already took care of any threat on the way. You'll be safe. Thank you, whoever you are. You guys can take all of these things. Uh, you, you guys need to be careful, too. There seems to be something real scary in that house up on the hill. Ah. Oh, right. Uh, the road across from the market is blocked. If you want to go further, you'll have to go to the shopping street. Got it. Thanks for the tip. Cheers, mate. That object was pretty important to you, right? Nah, not worth anything. Are you sure you're okay just giving it to Eric like that? If it will make him change his ways, it's more than worth it. <laughs> what if he doesn't? From a young age, my mother taught me to be forgiving and to preserve the goodwill in people's hearts. Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, 
I must try my best to shine brightly for others. I must give him a chance, Zila, because other people can't. <sighs> I don't really get what you just said. Anyway, <clears throat> we should get moving. Eric said that we need to take the shopping street to go any further. I think I still remember where it is. This way. Box of metal plates and bandages. Right, so I'm actually thinking we'll end this part here and in the next part we'll continue off to the orphanage. So we'll see you in the next part. Ta-da for now.